What is up guys, welcome back to a new Black Ops 4 video. Before I start this video, I have to thank Activision and Treyarch for sponsoring this video for... <laughs> I'm just getting... You guys are like, yeah, I knew it. You're getting paid to say good stuff about Black Ops 4, you freaking sellout. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding, boys. Uh, you know, it's funny that I get a few... Not too many, but I still get a few comments um, saying that I'm getting paid for... Uh, talking good stuff about Black Ops 4. I'm not guys, I'm actually enjoying this game. I just want to enjoy a good quality game and uh, you know this one is fun. This one seems to be fun. I think that Treyarch did it again after World of War, their first real success in Call of Duty. Uh, then a Black Ops 1, it's like the best Call of Duty game ever, um, best Treyarch game ever. Then Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, two games I don't like that much but they are a big success especially uh, like Black Ops 3 because it's still being updated. We all know it's because of the supply drop so they can still making money but shh, let's not say anything. And now we have Black Ops 4 which is uh, it's you know it feels like Call of Duty because I mean the it's Call of Duty but at the same time it feels different people want it new people don't want Call of Duty to be the same over and over again and that's what Treyarch gave you they gave you something new yeah we know they we all know they copy this shit from Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch and whatever um, but hey I don't care if they copy, you know, it's new, uh, it's a change, and uh, guess what, I like it. At first, it's a, sh it's a shock, right? It's different, you're like, yeah, this is Call of Duty, but what is this, what is that, it's different. But uh, once you get used to it, it's really fun, guys. So, final thoughts on, final thoughts on the Black Ops 4 beta. I freaking loved it. First week was great. First week of the beta, weekend I mean, uh, was great. Then the second week of the beta was even uh, better because I already knew what I was doing and at the same time they buffed a lot of things. They nerfed a few annoying things and man, Treyarch did a very good job. I hope that the game releases the way that it was right now, like a few hours ago. Uh, and if possible, you know, even better. Like, does that even make sense? But uh, let's talk about, you know, these things. So, the longer time to kill. Biggest complaint people have in uh, about Black Ops 4. It's probably the reason why they say Black Ops 4 is garbage and they don't want to buy it and whatever. Because, yeah, you know, <laughs> people really have a lot of health in this game. It's really insane and it punishes people who like running around. Because it's pretty much impossible to get a triple kill or a quad unless you're playing against potatoes. If you're playing against, you know, potatoes like Lil' Jimmy, Lil' Bo Lil Mikey, Lil' Bobby, uh, Lil' Timmy who cannot aim, who have no fingers, then yes, you are going to get a lot of kills while rushing but usually against decent players oh it's not gonna happen so it punishes people who like running around and that is why most people hate this longer time to kill but hey not everything is bad because the longer time to kill can also be good guys and it can be good when you're going against campers when you're going against people head glitching when you're running around and a guy uh, starts shooting you from behind it gives you a chance to fight back because you don't get melted super fast like in other Call of Duty games so having a lot of health is not that bad when you think about it because it really gives you a chance to fight back in a lot of situations especially long medium range at close range yeah you still get smashed but uh, uh, it is what it is and then we have uh, ladies and gentlemen body armor so at first body armor was so annoying but then you know everyone started complaining about it they nerfed body armor and on the second weekend of the beta it was way more fun to play Black Ops 4 because body armor was not not as good as before. At first I was forced to use my trusty um, ICR with armor piercing rounds that melt body armor but then after the nerf I stopped using the armor piercing rounds I stopped using the ICR I started using the assault rifle that is not the last one the one before uh, that one doesn't have armor piercing rounds and I was using a silencer on it which is supposed to uh, make it not as good at, at you know medium long range but uh, I was still melting people even people um, using body armor so I like the change I hope that it stays that way when the game comes out uh, and then we have the specialist in my opinion the best thing about black ops 4 oh my god i didn't care about the specialists in black ops 3 i thought that they were not that good honestly but these ones are freaking amazing all of them are good guys all of them 
can be helpful and I really like the fact that they made this Rainbow Six Siege style you can only choose one specialist and you gotta play as a team yeah you can choose whatever specialist you want uh, it's gonna be good for something and probably you're gonna do well playing like solo but if you play with a squad and if you put the best team uh, possible together oh my god you are going to destroy people if you have a healer which is crash a guy that can you know uh, give people health if and ammo if you have a guy with explosives like battery actually a girl uh, you know, she kind of looks like a lesbian but uh, anyways if you have a guy like uh, vision pulse that can show you where, where people are he's not called vision pulse he has another name but you get the idea he also has a radar and if you have a guy like for example Sarah actually a girl again like Seraph with the tactical insertion I mean if you and another guy like torque for example with the barricades oh my god you are going to literally poop on people and I like that it you know they want you to have they want you to work together with your team and in my opinion teamwork is never a bad thing um, and then we have oh I also like the fact that uh, these specialists have equipment and you can get it very very often and the equipment uh, can really uh, can be very very helpful so I you know I like that you're always earning something and uh, it keeps the game fun and then we have who talking talking of fun man the score streaks at first you know they were not that good they were not you know really good but they were not super bad like in world war ii they you know they did work but then they got buffed and after the buff oh my god they became way much better so the score my favorite score streaks are the strike team they are amazing guys i love those motherfuckers they got a health they got a buff health uh, they also they're also more accurate and whatever they do more damage oh my god it's so much it's so fun to release the strike team and then follow them around and uh, work together um, use them as bait just they will take you to the enemies it is so freaking fun guys I also love the attack helicopter it really does work now um, I mean it was a good buff they are definitely uh, super fun but I feel that they should have more score streaks uh, in the game and I don't know if they're gonna have more um, I feel that only 12 of them is pretty low especially when you compare it when you compare uh, the number of kill streaks you have in for example um score streaks i mean in black ops 2 and black ops 3 you have like i don't know almost 20 of them which is a lot and also i also enjoy the fact that it's really easy to earn score streaks in black ops 4 you have a lot of things like specialists and gear that can really help you get your score streaks faster earn them faster and that is really fun it's a reason why i didn't enjoy black ops 2 and black Cast three that much because the score streaks were so freaking high and it was almost impossible to get the big boys to get the you know the the big kill streaks i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna sometimes i say kill streaks other times i say score streaks i'm gonna keep you know calling them kill streaks because i'm an og motherfucker um they were called kill streaks at first right uh but anyways yeah you know that's pretty fun and then we have the guns it's something i haven't talked about yet uh, the icr uh, it's great it's a great all-round assault rifle but my favorite is the one uh, not the last assault rifle the one before I honestly don't remember the name of that gun uh, there are other guns that are pretty fun that one is my favorite especially because it has the bayonet as the mod and you know I play I played a couple of games with a bayonet and it's really fun to just run around shanking people I freaking love it and it really works great in this call of the game because people can fly around all over the place in black ops 3 it was pretty hard to use the bayonet on the uh, NX shadow claw um, yeah I really like this gun I didn't care about the guns in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Anyways, the gear is a new thing on the creator class. It's pretty much like a seventh perk and wow, the gear is really amazing. All of them are really good uh, and it's kind of hard to choose like uh, just one to use. But yeah, when you think about it, it's a seventh perk and uh, it's like the seventh perk and uh, you know, it makes this creator class more fun. And then we have a new game mode, Heist. Heist is pretty cool, guys. Um, I love loved war on world war 2 that was the new game in world war 2 it seems that heist well besides blackout 
but heist on the multiplayer uh, it seems that is it's gonna be the new game mode and i you know i really like it at first i didn't because it's like search and destroy if you die boom you're done you gotta you gotta watch people playing i don't like that it's boring but uh, i mean it's fun you just have to stay alive if you stay alive it's really fun guys i like the fact that you can pick up ammo and health packs here and there it's really cool uh, oh i also like the fact that assists equal kills in uh, black ops 4 you get um, one kill on the scoreboard uh, even if you get you know an assist and you know it counts as a kill and you also get the same score even though you're getting an assist you are getting uh, the same score um, as for getting kills you know that helps you get your scores fixed faster and it's really fun the only thing I really hate about the Black Ops 4 beta and they have to fix this shit when the game comes out or the spawns oh my god worst spawns of all time they said they were gonna fix them i guess they tried to fix them but uh, you know it's really bad it, like so freaking annoying guys so final thoughts of the beta really fun probably the best beta i've played so far um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i think that black ops 4 is really gonna be fun but you have to adapt to it because it's slightly different thank you for watching i'll see you next time peace out